This is Life and Art. I'm Dawn Okoro and I'm an artist and this is part two of my vlog about my recent New York trip where I did some prep work for my new paintings. After my day of shooting I had some free time to walk around New York a bit, do some sightseeing. I was mostly around the Lower East Side that day and I got to look at some murals. Eat some good food. I love sweets, so I had to go to this cheesecake place. And as expected, the cheesecake was awesome. So yummy. And then I walked around Chinatown for a bit. Uh -huh. Okay, we're gonna be a cool time, but it's not spinning as soon as I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I love taking in the sights and sounds. We're heading to the studio for day two of my art photo shoots. And today I'm going to be shooting Michelle and Nicole. We're going back to Lounge Studios, but this time we're using a different studio within their complex because it just, de just depends on what they have available. Wow, this looks really neat. I, I like all the light bulbs on the wall. And you can change the colors uh, with an app on your phone. Ava Rain is up first today. She's a singer and songwriter and she just signed a new production deal and she owns this photography studio. I met her several years ago through mutual friends and I had asked her to pose for a painting for my Punk Noir series back then. That shoot took place back in 2017 at her apartment in New York. It was spontaneous and really fun. I went back to Austin and painted a six foot tall piece and called it The Three Graces. And I'm really glad that Ava is open to working with me again. Her whole look is amazing. She walked in with a huge fro, a blue camouflage jumpsuit, matching blue lipstick, and different accessories. Right. No trouble to get them on. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons that I like to work with Ava as an artist is because of how she chooses to express herself through fashion. What makes me feel confident is my music. I feel like I'm expressing myself at my highest level. I feel like my true essence is, is uh, being displayed through that. Do you have a message that you would like to share with the world? <laughs> do you. Do you. There's only one you. Nobody can do you. Nobody can contribute what you can, um, we need more, more individuals. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Nicole Hannah-Jones was my last participant for this round in New York. Nicole is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist and the creator of the 1619 Project. Nicole first connected with me online years ago and she, she had expressed being a fan of my work. I got a chance to meet her briefly when she visited Austin in 2019 for the Texas Book Festival. Nicole had a speaking engagement the night before today's shoot and she literally came to the shoot straight from LaGuardia Airport and I really appreciate her taking the time to come by the studio. Nicole had been photographed so much in the past couple of years so she is a pro. Yeah, she can look, yeah. You can, yeah, look, yeah, look straight ahead. Now look towards me. After the shoot, I asked Nicole about her style. How do you express your individuality? I definitely express my individuality in my style. Um, I am recognized by this bright red afro that I usually wear, bright red hair, um, that I wear jays all the time, often with dresses. So I really, um, I like to stand in spaces where you're supposed to wear a certain type of uniform uh, as a professional journalist and really defy that. So that's, that's how I express my individuality is in my style. Because she had just been traveling, her hair was pulled back, 
But when I make the painting, I'm going to paint her red afro. After the shoot, it was immediately time for me to leave New York City. Instead of flying, I took a road trip this time. It was the middle of the day and it didn't take very long to cross over to New Jersey. Then next thing you know, I was in Pennsylvania. I've always wanted to visit Nashville. I made a quick pit stop there and got some barbecue chicken wings at, um, where did I get it at? At the Peg Leg Porker. So they specialize in pork, like pork ribs, but I really wanted chicken and that's where I was and I got some chicken wings and they were delicious. I went through downtown Nashville a little bit before heading out of the city. I would love to come back and spend more time there. I'm back here in my studio in Austin and I'm going to be working on some new paintings here. And I'm also planning some more work trips where I'm going to be photographing some more people for our paintings. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. And until next time, see you later.